a little while back riya when you said how can you make salads interesting so uh, just for everyone's information dhwani is the salad queen of mumbai she crafts tempting salads and she sends it across mumbai so what she uh, what riya just mentioned about how you can make a simple avocado so interesting is something what dhwani is having in her kitty to share with us over to you dhwani now i'm super excited to hear from you about the excitement that we can add into our so called bland menus <laughs> me too me too <laughs> firstly thank you ashish and really means a lot for this uh, kind of introduction i'm very appreciated and yes uh, i have thank you riya too for uh, mentioning about it about me being the diet chef and you know helping people making their recipes and food interesting yes thank you and very well said i think uh, you put the context very right riya the priority has to be there because yeah. it all starts from there yes yes you agree ashish absolutely think, yes my audience too agrees i think if your health is not a priority nothing can you know really happen and in that if your priority is to eat a healthy and tasty food that's when i come into picture because mm-hmm. there are many other ways you could lose weight and there are many other ways which could be healthy unhealthy i am not saying anything about it because we all are aware of the other types of foods and diets that are prevailing in the industry which could make your like you know temporary gain but a permanent kind of a damage so yeah but if your priority is to eat healthy food and lose weight and you have the patience to experience your transformation then yes definitely riya is the person to go for as mm-hmm. we all know in the 21 day weight loss program as well we have received these kinds of feedback where people have said that the diets that riya gives are very very easy to follow and they are absolutely like cost efficient as well there's nothing fancy that you know is added or no tablets or nothing extraordinary or expensive so yes and i would like to add value to this by saying is how could you make your food healthy and tasty so there's a very mm-hmm. simple element that i understand food as for me food is like art you know as Perfect. art I, i i understand that not uh, like whatever you create like for me whatever i create with food is a piece of art for me yeah so that is where uh, it it comes from 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 my uh, keen passion to understand food me being a foodie and struggling all my life to you know lose weight from that is where this passion generates and you know my interest comes in as i said my priority comes from there so uh, we we do elaborate this concept in the 21 day weight loss program that we do hold you know in much more details like we have a proper session where we help people understand this entire concept basically it's nothing but a science and okay it's decoded in a such a way that it's very very simple to implement making food is an art which is a decoded science yeah yeah so you have to just understand the elements of the food well and uh-huh. combine them in a combination that goes well so once you understand the tastes of the food and you understand what kind of uh, tastes blend well with that flavor you could create magic so i'll give you an example is basic avocado can be used in multiple ways as we were talking it can be used in a smoothie it can be used in a guacamole i'm talking about the famous ways that it is used it is used in a smoothie it is used in a guacamole you can either have it plain <clears throat> yeah okay. and it's used in a toast with a bread but another creative way could be to add it uh so to add a avocado instead of olive oil in your hummus you could okay. increase your nutritive value the flavors also would be enhanced yeah and the entire food would go on a different level okay one more creative way to add maybe say avocado could be you could make an avocado pesto 
so instead of oil okay. we replace it with the avocado because avocado is high in fats it is already buttery in texture right so as i said as you understand the properties of a particular food yeah you will be able to do it very well but to give it in a layman's language jahan pe aapko pata hai ki kuch cheeze mujhe pata hai ki ab chahe colors ke jaise bhi na if we are all aware there are certain mm-hmm. colors that go very well with each other right yeah we all are aware primary secondary and uh, xyz right. types of colors exist so if you go mm-hmm. and google about yeah. the colors. so it's like art as i just mentioned like we all know some colors go well with each other and some colors don't go well with each other right. likewise it is in food if you go to see the foods have colors right natural uh, foods Absolutely. have color so right. if you mix the color combinations that go well in general in colors like in your paint and art usually those kind of colors go well even in food okay so if you think of combinations we all know ashish uh, i mean I, i don't know many of uh, the audience knows or not but ashish has a keen interest in cooking and he is a very very awesome chef too he crafts <laughs> amazing ice creams and uh, he does make yummy other stuff as well So I think Ashish is like listening because he's understanding what I'm saying, and he's maybe absolutely. I was <laughs> very clearly. So, yeah, this is a secret that I'm sharing today because this is the secret of creating your creation. See, then it all depends on your level of creativity. Absolutely. But this is the secret. So if you go to see, even in foods like if you just mix vegetables and whatever. you can see what vegetables go well with like in color form what colors go well with each other and try and experiment with those vegetables see i am not saying that 100% hi sab sahi hoga but 90% sab sahi hoga 10% upar niche hoga right but this is so a-